all right so what is going on today youtube back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh pro replays of the week uh the week of 7 21 2017 today man is uh, marks the end of an era man marks the end of an era link summoning is officially integrated into the tcg so yeah man all next week we're going to just start off with the link we're going to start off playing uh with pretty much the link format i guess i mean it's not really a format but you guys understand what i'm talking about we're starting off with links so yeah man be excited for that next week and for this week once again we have some more george holland replays these, I believe, are the final six that he did send me, so we're going to hop straight into that. But before we start, I would like to say, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click and add to help support the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. And he did send me the deck list, so I will be putting up his deck list after uh, these replays are over. But as you can see, he's going up against DDDs. He started off with a Ghost Ogre on his uh what's the name i believe what is this card called again dark contract with the gate and as you can see he's still going off oh he gets a mirror force also but that ends his play really right there and then you are you guys can already see what's going to happen here he already knows the back row it's all oh, it's it's even worse it's even worse because he called spiral super agent right this is going to get out of hand we're going to go into fairy dragon he top stack into a last resort Sadly, he does not draw. He does not have the spiral luck to go ahead and get over. Um, what's the name? Doesn't have the spiral luck to go ahead and uh, draw the spiral. Re uh, the spiral resort. But you know, he ends with a super agent. He equips to fully arm and stuff like that. What a utility wire, and you know that's going back to the deck. Here goes a necro slime. Top decks to a Lamia. That's going to trigger getting back Genghis. Alexander is going to get back a Lamia, and this is not whoa. That right there is possible. Nope, never mind. I thought it was a misplay, but it is not because um, the reason why it's not a misplay is because now he could. Uh, yeah, I, I thought he wasn't going to be able to go into a crystal wing, and um, I, th I thought he wouldn't. I thought he was uh, not going to be able to go to the crystal wing, but he ended up going to crystal wing and a Siegfried, which is really good. So he's going to start off with um, Spiral Super Agent baiting the crystal wing dragon i'm pretty sure that's what happened here activate the resort and then since he has ancient fairy dragon it's all good he's going to go ahead and search another sp uh, resort possibly yeah i was about to say he's going to get a sleeper sleeper popped his uh what's the name resort and attack for game good job mr h281 aka george holland that was a very good replay very good comeback and what I like is that the guy actually decided they, I, I don't know how they, I don't know if it was a match to begin with, but he decided to actually play this second game. And as you can see, he's opening up broken again. And I guess Link Summit, uh, Link Summit, this is the only, it's pretty much only going to stop decks like this because look, look at this, man. Crystal Wing Siegfried again with a maxi in hand. That's going to get a little crazy. He's going to start off with a super agent. He's probably going to hit, ooh. And that's going to be, you know what, now, oh, he, you know, he was not really forced into doing it. Um, right now, he's going to get a uh, bait out the crystal wing real quick so he can go ahead and summon the sire. And once again, double fully armed is coming in handy. He's going to be able to banish all, literally all three of these, which is just super good and hit him with 500. This is why I double fully armed. It, it, I, I just want to play it so bad. Literally have no room, but I'm going to. I'm probably just going to add two fully armed just because how good the goddamn card is. And you see, um, DDDs is on their way to make a comeback. I believe they can make a good board. Um, he, yeah, he can definitely make a good board. He can't get rid of the super agent, which is a problem for him. But um, he, he ends up. He like I said, this is a pretty good board against a lot of other decks. It just and when you got double fully. Oh my god! And he. Oh Jesus Christ. Double fully armed, man. Is this really taking care of it? And plus, he quit with last resort. You can't target it nor destroy it. Um, Regeki is pretty much dead. We have to just probably try to. Uh, that's what this is. This doesn't target, but he doesn't have a monster. Why would you do that? Oh, uh, man. He actually could have. Um, actually, I don't know if it does target. It, it probably. I don't, I don't know if it does target, but. I, there's no reason to use Omega. He probably just gave up, but man, double fully armed once again, coming alive and literally bringing him back in the duel. So, all right, here he goes, going up against Light Swords with Tuning Wear. Wow, I, I, I don't know what to say, but as you can see in his hand, um, it, it, he ain't. We ain't gonna be able to find out what this uh, Light Sworn deck does. 
because this is rather over pretty quickly. As you see, he already has the combo. Um, let's just see how far he can extend it. He's grabbing one of them fully armed. So, oh my God, he topped that <laughs> super agent. That's just funky right there. That is just funky. He's going to possibly get a sleeper. Oh yeah, he grabs a sleeper. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Equip the fully arm in. Is that game? That is not game. That's 29, 21. That's 5,000. He's 200 off of game. Uh, ooh, man. All he had to do was put that quick fix in attack mode, and he did have attack, and he didn't set the utility wire. You know what, man? I, I can't I can't blame you because, you know, sometimes I do forget to equip uh, fully. I mean, forget to, like, set shit and stuff like that. So I can't blame you, but it did not matter at all because he still got the victory, even though, you know, he had game on the, actually his first turn. So let's see what, let's see game two. Stuttered right there when I got to the back end. Once again, he's going up against game two. Um, target one lights one, your graveyard added to hand and banish cards from top of your deck. I mean, I guess, I, I don't know. He's starting off once again. He's, he's hit super agent every time, which is amazing. He has this machine dupe. He, oh god that's the bad thing man you leave a field card up you know what's gonna happen oh why would you kill the field card young man yo george what's, what's going on why would you kill the field card that was not a good situation oh he's running straight into this mirror force but the mirror force is going to trigger getting back to agent so he's still going to be able to do that <clears throat> you shouldn't have killed the field card he easily could have uh, what's the name did the one in the back uh, he obviously should have did a back row because then he would have uh, got the ancient fairy off and he would have did a whole bunch of other stuff but it looks like he still has you know control of the door it really did not matter a top deck another fully arm once again fully arm is coming alive because <laughs> he has two of them man oh george man you you just make uh, i'm definitely I, I just gotta put it in um what does it say? Uh, you can spell summon that target and face attack. What does this even do? I haven't seen this card in many years. Um, it's a call of 100, I believe, for just like Torrance. It's going to summon the Glow Bowl, but I believe this is just this is just over for the Light Swarm player. There's nothing really he could do. I mean, when you when you got Machine Dupe, it's just it's it's even worse. And then when you got that double fully armed man, it's just you get you get beat down so fucking fast, man. That's crazy. And with the last duels of the day he's going up against i believe a trap tricks jack and he's running shuffle reborn uh okay he's gonna set the sanctum there's uh, once again super agent is hitting just on tar oh my god now this is, might be a little bad Ooh, the scythe but you know what we don't really care about not going into our extra deck we yeah like i said we don't really care we just want multiple multiple quick fix searches um we're going to get a free last resort once again the fully arm is coming straight up Fully armed is the greatest card in Spirals because look at what it's doing. Man, it's banishing everything from the graveyard. It's getting him over everything. Man, double fully armed is, is just so goddamn amazing. I know I keep repeating myself, but Jesus Christ is so good. Um, he's going to start off with the fl uh, fl Endless Trap. Go fl fl floodgate Trap. I don't know why. I couldn't say it. But I'm going to start off with that triple quick fix on the board. Let's see. We goes into a. This is the card I also wanted to put in just because I can ditch with what's the name. So I can ditch. I mean, I can go into another rank one. That's. Oh, now I thought that was going to be an actual good thing. But since the full, the fully armed, once again, is just putting in work. Oh, this. Oh, my God. This is getting out of hand now. Trap tricks from Romello searching the bottom is that's not going to do anything. Because, you know, he has the fully armed, he has agents that can't be targeted by anything, can't be destroyed by anything. Yeah, this this game is just over, man. This fully armed is just so goddamn good. Uh, he's going to summon the tough, he's going to get bottomless, he's going to get back to drone. Drone's going to rearrange, he's going to, oh, I thought he was going to search a, what's the name? thought he would search a, uh, what do you call it? I thought he was going to search a sleeper to put the game out of reach. But this fully armed is going to put in more <laughs> work. And banish some other stuff. I don't even know how many cards he banished that turn. Uh, oh, I, I was about to say something completely stupid. I do know six cards got banished because of fully armed. Woo! That's, that's gotta hurt. And with game two going up against the Trap Tricks again, he starts off with the Brilliant Fusion. But I believe he drew the only Guarded in his deck. Now, if he was running the Earth, or if he was running like the Earth, I think there's one. No, I think it sends a rock. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just send to Earth or something like that. But look at his hand. 
look at this hand man george man please pass it over here i need this i need this hand man uh he's oh now that's going to actually shut him down for the turn uh let's see no, no it's not he's hit on he's not missed with one super agent and you guys already know what's coming oh no i thought he was gonna do it he's not gonna do it i thought he was going to do it i thought he was going to go double fully armed and get it cracking but man oh he already quit he quit in the first turn he was oh he's top decking trick clown oh my god man jesus christ fully armed is just making his appearance known all right man be right back with the deck profile and all right here it goes here is the fable deck list and he does he plays two sleepers uh triple go i mean i don't have to read it you guys already know what this is so yeah this is the deck list that he has been playing these is uh once again this is george holland shout outs to him for sending in the spiral replays double fully armed like a boss um you know and here's his side deck like i said i have not seen this let's see how well he translates over to links like i said since we do have a busted ass link monster you know that's going to be very good for this deck but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and stuff like that i had a lot of fun once again shout out to george holland for sending in the replays and if you guys want to send us some replays the link is down uh my email is down in the description below go ahead and send in a, a deck list um yeah, replays whatever you guys you guys want to say hey or what's up or something like that Go ahead and do that. It's in the uh, description below. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next week with the start of the link format.